what I need to work through is definitely more in here and more in here but cleaning your surroundings, decluttering your surroundings will help declutter here and here Welcome back. This is gonna be another cleaning decluttering video. You guys seem to like it. The video I did two weeks ago, that was like a tidying and organizing. So I feel like tidying and organizing is putting things back where it belongs and decluttering, like a deep decluttering, which is what I'm gonna do, which is what I'm doing in the middle of doing right now. Deep decluttering is getting rid of things. Not getting rid of things, but like happily comering, letting go, gratefully the things that you no longer wear. simple on the first night and to prevent decision fatigue remember this from the how to wake up at 4am video i chose to start with the easiest and least intimidating portion of my closet hanging clothes that are fully visible are definitely more manageable than drawers of unknown and forgotten t-shirts i swap my heavy winter jackets for lighter summer jackets tried on clothes to confirm it still brings me joy this is from Marie Kondo's book The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up and I reorganized my tops into jackets, casual sweaters, and blouses figure out what needs to be done today, right now and what can be done tomorrow, later the goal for this night, I gave myself two options keep their shirt hanging or put it in the tomorrow pile the tomorrow pile is what I'll figure out the next day, either being dry cleaning, storing away, reselling, or donating. Because I get easily overwhelmed, and when I'm overwhelmed, I tend to crawl into my cave and do absolutely nothing. I like breaking down daunting tasks into smaller bite-sized pieces like the analogy of how to eat an elephant in the previous video. Before I dump the entirety of my drawers out to declutter, I like to dust and vacuum just so it's nice and clean for my conscience and my clothes. But really, imagine wearing and packing away all that dust and letting it hang out with you on your clothes for a whole season. I actually started doing this years ago to stop my mom from nagging me, but it's become a pretty good habit ever since. So see mom, I already listen to you. By the way, my bed is naked because its clothes are being washed. Hey guys, just checking in for a sec. My baby hairs are really crazy right now, but it's okay. This is the state of my studio right now. Um, yeah, so I just took this drawer from in there, pulled it out here. By the way, this is from the container store. I'll link it down below. A lot of you have asked in my previous videos. So this is usually sports bras, bras, underwear. This is, in the front is a bunch of t-shirts that I honestly don't even know. I don't know what it's in here because everything's stuffed in there. So you know it's there, but because it's so compact, you don't really know what's in there. So I want to fix that by moving some of it down here. I couldn't do that during the winter time because all these sweaters were in there. This along with a lot of what's there needs to be dry cleaned. Back here is sports stuff. So probably sports stuff, sleep stuff casual stuff will go in one drawer and then t-shirts will go in this my mom's always told me I was really good at taking one pile of stuff and then moving it to another place and then moving it and then moving it As with most people, I'm moderately attached to my stuff and I always tell myself I can save this thing for that event that I may go to in the future or that costume party I'll never go to. So here are the two criterions I use to determine what to let go of. Number one, if I forgot I own something and or haven't worn it in six months, I'm probably not going to miss it. And number two, anything that's revealing, be it showing my back, my bra, or the double black diamonds on my chest, I shall let go of. I have nothing against revealing clothes because I was all about that Nasty Gal life back in 2012. By the way, Nasty Gal is a clothing brand, don't think anything else. But I'm just at a season in my life where I like to, you know, dress a little more appropriate and elegant. 
Tomorrow Pal exists mostly to ease my psychological burden and expectations for myself. As I was deciding what to keep and what to let go of, I did make mental notes to myself for what needed to be stored away, what needed to be dry cleaned, and what needed to be donated or resold so that I wouldn't have to go through the whole pile again. So when I got to this part, it was a lot easier. And of course, if possible, it's definitely better to take care and tackle all the things you want to do within a day but of course if you need a couple of days that's totally fine because i took this took me two three days to really get through everything yep all right this is the end of the voiceover session you know how sometimes you go through your life one way and then you're kind of in your zone living your own world this is as usual everything is great you're living in your little bubble and then something pops up and it's like haha like a little elf or a little notification or uh whatever it is it's just like hey <laughs> you're actually wrong like the world that you're living in is actually something completely different than what you thought it was so what i'm trying to say is i learned a lot about the world this past weekend and um i'm really shocked at first it really paralyzed me like i couldn't do anything i didn't want to do anything i didn't want to talk to anyone i didn't want to go anywhere but i realized that's not the way to go about doing things if i want to be a light within darkness the world's a very dark place if i want to be the light and this is something that a really good friend of mine reminded me of it's if you want to be the light focus on the positive and focus on what you can do so what i can do and what i have the capacity to do right now is to do a deep decluttering of my closet and i feel like what i need to work through is definitely more in here and more in here but cleaning your surroundings decluttering your surroundings will help declutter here and here so i just want to put that out there for as much as i love cleaning for as much as you know tidying and organizing is great it's still an external thing right what i'm trying to find a solution to it's internal calm and internal stillness and internal peace so just want to leave you guys or just remind myself as i'm maybe reminding you guys so this might be a chiller video i have no idea what it's gonna be how it's gonna turn out but um thank you guys for joining me i really appreciate you guys when i finally work through what's going on in here maybe i'll be able to share it has to do with this and it has to do with this and if it just looks like cute emojis to you then so be it if you know what it means and how scary it is then good job because it's taken me 26 years to learn about this and uh you're you're you're, uh, you're ahead of the curve so um okay bye <laughs>